Ioli. I'm here with just a few minutes of practical wisdom to prompt you to pause and think about how to maximize your personal and leadership impact. You've probably encountered the term emotional intelligence as it's been in the forefront of leadership training and other training that we might have been through over the years and there have been best-selling books on the topic. In simple terms, so emotional intelligence is the ability to manage our own emotions and also influence the emotions of others. One thing we don't talk about much though is another concept, and that's the concept of what we call social intelligence. Social intelligence, the ability to get along well with others and get them to cooperate with us. We also call this interpersonal skills, or you may refer to it as people skills. Today, I wanna to talk about just one key component of this concept of social intelligence that will greatly impact your interpersonal skills and your relations with others, and that's the area of social awareness. Social awareness is essentially your ability to assess the social or the people context of any given situation. What's going on with the other people that are around me and not just with me? Here's an example, and it's a very practical and simple example that I think we can all relate to, and it's not related to work, of what a lack of social awareness would look like. All of us ride planes. So when you're boarding a plane, there's someone in the middle of the aisle, standing in the middle of the aisle, oblivious to the 40 passengers waiting behind him as he straightens his jacket, as he puts his suitcase up in the, in the overhead bin, as he checks his phone and starts to, I don't know, text people, I don't know what he's doing, but he's just standing there in the middle of the aisle, not in a hurry, seemingly oblivious to the social context around him. And the social context around him is that there are 40 other passengers waiting to get into their seats while he is doing all of these adjustments. Been there? That's an example of someone who is not assessing, obviously, the social context and totally unaware of what other people are thinking, feeling, and experiencing in the moment. So as you can see, social awareness is critical when it comes to assessing what is appropriate behavior in any given situation. And in that situation, it would be to hurry up and realize that other people are waiting and get in my seat. So my question for you today is this, do you assess the context, the social context, or are you totally focused on you? Do you have social awareness? How can you increase it? Are you paying attention to the others around you? And are you aware of what they're experiencing and what they're feeling? Are you observing those things? Pause and observe what is going on interpersonally around you. Think about adjusting your behavior accordingly and according to what others are experiencing, not just what you're experiencing. If you want to learn more about this concept of social intelligence or people skills, a really good book is called Social Intelligence, The New Science of Success. It's, it's um, not a new book, but I, I consider it a classic and it's by Carl Albrecht. And it's definitely worth a read. It will exponentially help you increase your people skills or your social intelligence. Thanks for watching. And always remember this, every single moment you have a choice in what you say, what you do, and how you make people feel. Pause and make those choices intentionally and wisely because those choices every single moment are who you become.